As a Republican leader, I think it would be hypocritical for me to seek to distance myself from the consequences of armed struggle or the IRA's role in it. Nor can or would I attempt to excuse the human loss caused by the IRA bomb in Warrington. But regrettably, the past cannot be changed and can't be undone. Neither can the suffering, the hurt or the violence of the conflict be disowned by Republicans or indeed any other party to the conflict. None of this, of course, offers any comfort whatsoever to the many victims of the conflict from all sides, including and in particular the many hundreds of innocent victims, including uh, Tim Parry and Jonathan Bove. So the challenges for all of us engaged in the peace process and the political process in Ireland, and indeed for the British government also, was to ensure that there can never be a repeat of what went before. We must learn the lessons of history, and we must build a durable and a lasting peace. In my experience of meeting those bereaved by the conflict in Ireland, it never ceases to amaze me how generous and compassionate many of them are despite their loss.